So, what is healthcare assistant? In my first video that I uploaded on this channel, I talked a little about it, and the analysis I gave is healthcare assistant is like a house help job. So, replace house help with health, just replace the house with health. So, that's what health help. So, assuming you're a boss and then you employ somebody to do your house chores and everything for you, that is exactly what a healthcare assistant does in a hospital the only difference is the working environment which is the house help works in the house while the healthcare assistant works in the hospital that is just the difference but the function that you guys do it is the same so what are the basic functions of this healthcare assistant number one thing you should know is healthcare assistant they are under nurses whether BSc nurse, whether diploma nurse, whether this thing, you are working under a nurse. Do you understand it? So, what are the things that you actually have to do? Because in the hospital, you, you, are not, you cannot wash plates, you cannot bleed, you cannot do all those housey things. So, what is your work? So, as an eye care assistant, you perform roles of assisting a patient. For example, a patient came to the hospital to do surgery, even appendix surgery, CS, and everything. Like, you know, maybe after the first few days of surgery, some people, some patients might not, like, respond so well to treatment. They will not be able to stand up, do things on their own. So, your own function is to help the patient to feed, to clean. If the patient wants to go to the washroom, you assist the patient, follow him or her to the washroom, you know, most time when you do surgery, depending on the parts, let's just say stomach surgery, the person will bend like this, he can't stand straight. You will give them support to go to the bedroom, to use the toilet, to use the editing, depending on the ward or the department that they post you to. So if you are posted to um normal adult care um hospital department. Maybe somebody that is sick, somebody that is just recovering, or somebody that has um, cannula. Yeah, cannula. In, you know, sometimes when you're in the hospital, they put cannula in your hand. Maybe you have to take drip for the next TV or five days. They will tell you not to remove it so that they can use the same space. Sometimes your hand becomes, we call it, is it vein embolism or something? Your hands become very swollen and you can basically not do anything. So things like that, you actually just assist the patient to do a basic thing. Let me pass my this one, let me do this one. Like all those non-clinical, non-medical help. That is actually what you do in the hospital. So the only medical help or medical function, medical role you actually did as a healthcare assistant is taking vital signs. So you can take basic vital signs like temperature, blood pressure, um, pulse, um, weight, height. Is height important? No. But weight, you can actually take patients with like a patient that is just recovering and maybe they just want to check if the person is improving or deproving or something like that. You can help them to check weight. It's all those small, small things that this thing. But anyways, I said depending on the department that you are and depending on the type of enthusiastic person that you are, Sometimes, if you feel like you are really interested in this healthcare thing, you can really be involving the nurse to make you do some of those medical things. But normal, normal, you're not supposed to do medical stuff. But me, I'm sure telling you, sure, just in case you find yourself like you're interested in this thing. So all those things that nurses are doing, you can just be putting highs more. So because when you are putting highs, putting highs, it will be boosting your CV as well. So that's basically what you do with um in the hospital so you can actually even help the um, patient to actually tidy their bed tidy their environment you help them to eat and um, assist them in showering maybe the patient is feeling oh today i feel like eating chicken they'll give you money to go and buy the chicken today i feel like eating fried dress even in that same second if they say don't do it fried dress, it's you that will go and buy it and still come and feed the patient so that's why i said it's almost similar to house help work just replace it with health work health help are just like the big aim which is different depends is the working environment so now after being known that i'm sure that now you know the basic things but not limited to because you do some funny things because in the hospital if the patient is all this type that are not mobile and things like maybe like adult patient that maybe they have urine incontinency 
or they cannot stand up to pull and they pull on the bed, who's gonna do it? I think you, of course. It's part of your work description, but they will not tell you. But just to prepare to do things like that. You got me? Anyways, so what are the skills that I actually needed as a healthcare assistant person? So it's major skills that you should know. And knowing these major skills will actually help when you're actually developing your um, CV. So first one is like you have to be patient, you have to be calm, you have to know uh, ability to multitask so that you can do so many things at the time because you might be attending to one or two patients so that you're not differentiated, then you know that okay, this is the one I'm changing diapers for, this is the one that I requested for beans, this is the one that I requested for yeah. your ability to multitask. Number one thing is patience. That patience you have to write it in capital letter in your CV. I'm not saying you should do it, but you know what I mean. Like it's is like from one thing you have to be patient because some patients some patients see that way right? some patients some patients some patients can really be you know because of their reaction some people are not feeling comfortable they can really make you feel like oh, what like that kind of like trying to frustrate you sort of but then as a health care assistant you just have to basara i just look at the goal and just focus on the money not like i'm not saying focus on the money really but then you still have to show um empathy sympathy and everything but i'm just saying that some patients can really be extra trying to like make you feel so no matter what you don't talk back at a patient whatever they do you have to hold it you have to so even if if any if the patient makes any mistake who do you think they will blame you even if it is obvious it is you even if anything it is you that they will blame so patient is one thing you have to go to the market and go and buy like you have to order it maybe from aliexpress or from amazon order it and have enough patience so if you know that you cannot have patience that small thing get to it for example you might actually be feeding a patient now the patient should just vomit on you hey are you, are you gonna shout you cannot shout you cannot shout you don't have to suspend it no so things like that you have to be accommodating that's another skills that require accommodating then you have to learn how to communicate like excellent communication like to make a patient feel better not like maybe some patient might be um going through um for example like all these depressed patients all this mentally um the real patient or something like that Sometimes they actually need somebody that will actually say certain words to them to make them feel better, or somebody that will play with them. Some people might actually have some severe illness, some life threatening illness. So you have to learn how to like show your face, like you you actually care about them. You actually show remorse, not just like and eh, you just left your country, you just jump back, and it's just the money you you after. Just that small smile on your face can actually like make them live. If we hear more to their distance, some patients they might even say, okay, they can't live past one year or anything. As I do say, illness comes from um, wellness comes from within. So when you're actually administering a care for a patient and everything, and then you're putting on this smiling face and then you're making them feel better, gisting with them. That kind of thing. Say, well, I'm gisting with you now, you're watching this video and you've even forgotten that you want to apply for something. Like, it can really go a whole long way. And from there, the patient can really get addicted to you. The patient can really get addicted to you. And this one will take us to what is called care workers. So, for example, you're in the hospital settings and of course you're taking care of your normal patients and everything and then there's this particular patient that is really fond of you in fact if you're not on duty they will keep asking of you like it happens very well some patients used to like some nurses than the other maybe they just they just like the way the nurse talks to him or her and everything and they really like you and everything the patient can even tell his or her family member that oh i really like this nurse like that they really like you and let's just say is this type of illness that maybe they will still feel for a long period of time or they will still need somebody to be supporting them somebody to still be caring for them somebody to still be there for them especially all this mental illness like some people are just bored and depressed so when they get to the hospital and they see somebody like you just still with them making them happy and then maybe time to discharge them they will insist that their family members should recruit you to stay with him or her in the house and that's when your own function comes as a care worker so now you are no longer 
an health care assistant, you are now a care worker because your working environment has changed from the hospital to the house. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So healthcare assistants, they actually work in the hospital where care workers, they work in the person's residential home or residential facility or private nursing home, just something closer. Why healthcare assistant works in the hospital setting? They work with NHS, they're employed by NHS, they work in hospital settings. Why care homes, they work in normal care home. So, that's what can warrant and aside that you can just apply directly but most times when people are in the hospital and they get to see one nurse like they really vibe so well with and everything of course they want you to be the one to like always take care of them stay with them and really that's how god have just made you and you know all this when you both people so that's one thing i would just say in as much as you're trying to leave your country you're trying to jack up whatever you don't even want to care whichever you just want to leave Taking up this work, please, you still need to show compassion to who you are treating because they're actually paying you for it. Don't come and be doing like all these our typical Nigerian nurses or African nurses that will come and be shouting at parent, patient. Show them. See, the funny thing is, you might actually have in mind that, okay, you're leaving your country via this health, health care assistant to do all, do all this dirty job. You don't even know the patients that watch it even help you. You don't even know maybe from smiling, from being friendly with a the patient, then from there, they'll just, before you see, you don't even know who is rich, you don't even know who is this thing. They'll just say, mm, do you have your CV or something like that? I'm not telling you, no, you would move into. Different things can happen. Different things can happen. And another thing is, when you're actually nice to this patient, in the hospital and they take you home do you know how much they'll be paying you you know that when you're working in the hospital you have a particular number of hours maybe six hours maybe four times in a week or something but once they take you home do you know you'll be working 24 7 and it's not possible for you to work 24 7 because the patient will be sleeping for some time and you too you might be sleeping for some time so it's only when the patient is awake you'll be awake so in a day, when you even get used to the patients, you might not even be doing so much stressful, like two hours or three hours. Yet they will be paying you twenty-four hours money. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say because they can't calculate because you're always with them, and that's something about UK, something about abroad. Time is money. So even if you call somebody to come and work for you, and then the person sit down and you're still talking, it's not concern anybody. The person's time is going. The person's money is going. If the person, okay, I entered your house. 455 and then if you like be talking just like if you call a pumbler in uk to come and work for you if they like they should even come and change one small bulb if you take them tv hours you're going to pay for that tv hours if you took them four hours to change that small bulb that's what you are going to pay for so care workers are actually like the best bet you can actually opt for because their work is like flexible you just sit down at home, care for your patient, maybe make sure they take their money dose, their afternoon medication, evening medication, and that's it. You might just sit down just today and everything. And your money is still going. They are still paying you 24-7 money. So so another job that healthcare assistant does is um administer um medication. But well, most times it's always the um work of the nurse but sometimes you just say okay for example if you're actually used to it after food give the um patient is our food remember if you actually watched my video on um verified um uk homes you can actually apply to remember there was one job we saw for um healthcare assistant that one of the job description was ability to apply medication a bit apply to give medication if you watch that video remember the job description we saw yes it's part of it so the major difference between um healthcare assistant and support workers is healthcare assistant work in the hospital settings why um support workers actually work in patient residential home facility facility and of course they can actually be employed by the patient's family so they can actually be employed by the patient's family so they actually have the same responsibility but different working environment so that is just the major difference between them i want to talk about pay i've explained to you in the hospital we are doing like six hours per day for maybe four times a week and that's the only time they will calculate but as a support worker she always with the patient 24 7 
Sometimes you are no. Once you get used to your patient, at first it might be tough trying to. It will not even be tough because you guys have already know each other from the hospital. So once you guys have known each other, when the patient takes you drop, the person will sleep. And you, you too, what will you be doing? Watching TV, flexing your life. Why still any money? Why still any money? So when you know that, when you actually just get this health care assistant to work, try as much as possible. Be polite to people. Be polite to your patients. Don't see them as a, who is this one, as if they are trying to frustrate. Be polite because you don't even know anyone that would like it. So just make sure that you tr you, you are a likable person. When they call you friends, just smile. Smile. You say, oh, this Nigerian gay. Hmm. This Tanzanian boy. This, this Ghanaian guy. I want him. Mm -mm. I want him to follow me. Mm -hmm. From there, God is already making your life very, very easy. Simple and easy for you. Imagine paying you 12 pounds for upper hour for hospital work. Just like that one we saw in the, um, the video I made. 12 pounds per hour for hospital work. 6 hours. 12 times 6. How much is it? Then imagine the family will quit you to their house. 24 hours. 24 times 12. How much is this? You are not paying for rent. You are not paying for accommodation. You are not paying for food. I, I, you understand what I'm trying to analyze? You're not paying for food. You're not paying for rent. You're not paying light bills. You're not paying anything. Just like a nanny work in Nigeria. You're not paying for anything. You're just handing your money. Of course, you pay tax. <laughs> Whereas your counterpart working in healthcare in the hospital, they have to get an apartment. They have to pay for what they will eat. <laughs> they have bills on their head. And you probably, you're not even spending money for transport. If they like you that much, you can even use your madam's car or your boss's car. And that's one thing I said about, you see these Oyimbo people, these white people, they don't have stress. Once they just say that you're a good person, the way they will like you and treat you as if. So when you get there, just be like you're a good person. And if you like, go and show your African side, go and scam them. They will deport you back to Nigeria or whichever country that you are. So guys, I hope this free point of mine. I've been able to bust your bubble again. And you should actually watch. Enjoy this video. Make sure you click subscribe button. See my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for telling me.